when you just get married, you tend to just add weight. One of my neighbors just comes and say, Hey, you're adding weight. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can show you in this video. It's, I don't know if it's so visible. <laughs> brand new day and i'm feeling good woke up said my prayers of course did like my five minute title exercise which if you don't know about i would probably do a video about that pretty soon and then guys i just sat and thought for a moment and i'm like i'm grateful for the life that i have honestly to be able to wake up and love the job that you are going to on a day-to-day -day basis is not something that you get quite often so i wake up at seven in fact some days 8 a.m and i'm able to still get to work for nine o'clock see seriously sometimes you just have to pause and count your blessings when i'm feeling low or i'm feeling sad or i just feel some kind of weird feeling creeping up on me I just say to myself i am happy and grateful for the life that I have and it always works like magic. I think you guys should try it. So right now I am off to work. Take smoke, I'm a poker hole through you, choking's overdue. Uh, Come at me and you won't get any older do crack your hold or two. Uh, Not much to see here, just me at the salon trying some booga steps. <laughs> if you know, you know. Planning my day to have a productive day is one thing that I do not miss. I have to put pen to paper and plan my day in detail. So I list out the tasks I have for the day. And even if I wasted some time, I would still account for that time. Then planning the rest of the hours that I have for that day. So that's pretty much what I did here. This is Sunday and I just thought I should take a moment to do some reflective thinking. I don't know if anybody has heard this right, but there's this myth that when you just get married, you tend to just add weight. I don't know, but that's exactly what's happening to me. I'm not pregnant. Hold up. I know that's where your mind will go to first. The weight I have put on in the past few months, even me seven, <laughs> this thing is just confusing me. One of the things that really push me to work out is the fact that I have this fear of weight gain. Watching myself and seeing my body transform in ways that I cannot explain. My thighs, my hips, my arms, like... <laughs> in fact, when I'm making videos these days, I'm just looking at myself and like... <laughs> I'm not even going to bother. I know I am doing what I can to exercise and keep fit. And I'm just going to try and ignore the outward look if I can. But let me know in the comments if there's an explanation for this. Someone told me that it's a couple of factors that when you just get married, you know, there's this peace of mind, okay, that you've settled down, no more worries, you're now more comfortable. Maybe if you were not driving before, now there's a car coming to pick you, coming to drop you off. I just find these theories weird, to be honest, and I really wish I can get a good explanation for what is happening. It's so bad that at one point i weighed myself and what i saw on the scale i was shocked it was plus 8 kg the weight dwindled so sometimes it's just plus 4 kg when i saw that plus 8 kg i nearly fell into depression i was like what is it what am i doing who did i offend <laughs> which kind of weight gain is this then the other thing besides the weight on the scale because i'm not someone that really checks my weight on the scale my lower belly bulge <laughs> that's the one that shocked me the most the first time i noticed it it was during my bridal shower i would probably start the video here i'm like in all my life i've never ever had issues with my lower like my lower belly bulge is something that i know i complain about like i'm conscious of so from time to time but if i'm being honest with myself i know most times my abs just have a way of not even making it look so bad. I can't really remember when last I had such insecurities about my body. This was even before I got married. This was like before my bridal shower. That was probably when the weight gain started, I think. Because I remember that even for my wedding dress, I couldn't even fit. No, not like I couldn't fit. From when I got my measurement to when I went for my final fitting. 
I know I had added some extra inches on my hips and my waist. I think even the zip of my first outing dress tore when I went for my first fitting. So that was when my fashion designer knew that she had to use like a more secure zip that will not come and disappoint me on that day. I took it further and decided to go to the hospital just to do a scan to make sure that everything down there is okay because i'm not understanding let me see if i can show you in this video <sighs> ouch guys see i don't know if it's so visible it's not so visible but you can probably see it let me just see people it was so bad that i was on my own minding my own business just walking on next thing one of my neighbors just comes and say, Hey, you're adding weight. See your hips. In fact, since you go married, you're just adding, adding, adding. She's like, Hmm, in fact, you're not even exercising again. You've not been working out. I could not say a word. Like, the shock mixed with annoyance, mixed with disgust. I was just like, in my head. And then I think I was my friend that day. And my friend was telling her, Madam, this is how she has been since I've known her and I've known her for many years, over 10 years. And this lady was just like talking. I wasn't prepared, but the next time someone tells me that kind of thing, it will shock that person the way I would respond. The person will be like, ah, uh -uh, is it not just only this thing that I said? Don't worry, it will shock you. The vex from the previous Amiibo person who mix who join up and i'll just dump it all on you if you're not careful that was just really one very weird funny experience to be honest i will not relent of course in my fitness lifestyle i would keep on keeping on i would ensure that my workout consistency still remains the same i know there were times in the past where maybe I might have slacked a bit. I'm just at that point where I am um, trying to find that balance, which I think I have. I started this challenge I gave myself on the 5th of May, where I just did a workout plan. I'm like, you know what? Enough is enough. I need to put a structure to this thing and stop freestyling it. I designed a one week plan. I just noted down what I would do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday through to Sunday and decided that for every week in this month of May, I'm going to just repeat this same thing. I know that repetition is good, but it's not the best for an extended period. So I just gave myself one month to stick to this. With that, I now created like this other sheet, like a table where I started tracking my progress. Any day I'm able to actually do the workout that I plan to do, I just tick. A good sign to show that it was done on that day this is what it looks like right now and i'm so happy that i have been consistent i have a workout consistency planner which is going to be linked in the description of this video i've used it for years now but sometimes you know that's another thing you just have to remind yourself to go and always stick it so because it's something you print out it might not be always be handy so that's a note to myself to probably design a digital copy of the workout consistency planner i noticed immediately after i drafted a workout plan that i have been sticking to i have kind of still feeling better about the way my board looks and even my weight on the scale although i'm not gonna always look at my weight on the scale because i know fat and muscles weigh differently whatever i'm seeing on the scale may be muscles not necessarily fat i'm taking those extra steps that i need to take to be able to just get my body to that fit look that i've always been used to please tell me oh, if anybody has answers to this challenge that i am facing <laughs> let me know and let's also give newly wedded people coming up heads up so that when it starts happening they will not be surprised because i'm just confused and perplexed but god they shall we'll be all right last last thank you so much for watching up until this point give this video a like subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the very next one